Howdy everyone, War Sarsa here, and today we'll be looking at Robothorium. Now while this review is going to be mainly focusing on the Switch version, I'll also briefly cover the Steam version as well, since Goblin Studio was kind enough to offer me a key for that version alongside the Switch version. With that being said, let's dive into it. Robothorium is a narrative-driven strategy RPG where your choices affect the story. After choosing difficulty, which I chose the easiest, not only for the sake of the review, but due to my unfamiliarity with how the game works, you're introduced with the opening cutscene that sets up the story. Basically, without spoiling anything, the story goes that robots want to have rights, but humans are against it, so you fight to give robots a future. You start off by picking three from a choice of six robots, each with different stats, personality, and bonus effects. You'll be able to find or buy more robots later in the game. Jumping into the game, as you learn the controls, you'll learn more how in-depth this game actually goes, and it does go quite in-depth. There's a pretty good amount to it. For starters, your actions can have consequences and increase the danger level, shown at the bottom left of the screen, which will go from making actions performed in the world having a higher chance of failure to increasing enemy stats and making combat more difficult. Certain choices may also increase the reputation of one faction, but decrease that of another. For example, one faction may encourage violence against humans, while another will encourage being passive. Getting into combat, it's turn-based and those with higher speed go first. You have your basic attack and your skills. Skills build overload. If your overload reaches 100, you'll be stunned and vulnerable. However, using your basic attack rather than a skill will lower your overload. Different skills can be swapped out in the equipment section. After each unit has had a turn, everyone regenerates a little bit of their shield, depending on their regeneration stat. Your goal is to bypass the enemy shield enough to take out all of their health while protecting your own shield. After combat, you'll gain XP as well as loot dropped. Outside of missions, you have your hideout where you can select your next mission, view factions, manage equipment, as well as character talents. Something you can also do mid-mission. Visit the hangar to manage your robots as well as purchase more if available. Visit the black market to buy and sell items and visit the workshop that you can create equipment, make new components, reforge items, and recycle items. That's pretty much it. Other than I forgot to mention that the Steam version of course has trading cards, though I haven't seen what the badge or crafted items look like yet. I haven't really noticed any issues besides one on both versions, and it's more of a minor gripe. On both Switch and PC, menus such as the equipment menu load kind of slow. It only takes about 4-5 to five seconds, but when you're flipping through menus, that time adds up with the screen being froze there. Besides that, this is a very fun, story-rich game with a lot of content. The RPG elements have a very good depth with character levels, individual skills that can be upgraded through talents as well as other specs, tons of equipments with both ups and downs to them, and even making what would seem like meaningless choices have an impact on the story or your reputation with the factions. I also like how most of the time you're given options for your next mission rather than always being limited to going in a set row. Each mission has a certain enemy level so if you start a mission where the enemies are at a higher level you're gonna have a harder time so it's nice being given the choice between different difficulty levels to toughen up a little bit. This game is pretty friendly when it comes to difficulty scaling for everyone. As I mentioned earlier, I picked the easiest difficulty, but the harder ones have harsher defeat consequences like your robots either requiring repair after battle or being permanently destroyed. But that about wraps up this review. If you want the game yourself, it's available on Steam and the eShop for 15 bucks. I'd like to thank Goblin Studio for sending me the review keys. This is Warsarcy on the Game Clips channel and I'm out.